Pakistan Established on the 14th of August in 1947 through the partition of British India The sixth most populated country in the world Ancient civilizations such as Mohenjo-daro Taxila and other historical places are points of great interest and attraction in Pakistan. Cities in Pakistan are gradually moving towards liberalization. However, the rural areas remain a place of gender violence. Despite ban on some of the cruelest customs by moderate President Pervez Musharraf, honor killings, rapes, acid assaults, and forced marriages are order of the day. Mirwala, a village in the Punjab province of Pakistan and home for Mukhtar and Mai. On June 22, in 2002, a village council annoyed that Miss Mukhtar and Mai's 12-year-old little brother had dared to walk with a girl from a more influential tribe had a group of men gang rape Mukhtar and Mai and then forced her to walk home naked before the entire community. Influential men in the community believed that Mukhtar and Mai would then commit suicide in keeping with the traditional concept of honor common in the rural areas of Pakistan. The police of Mirwala took no action because of the fear of feudal lords who control and command the rural society in Pakistan at their whims and wishes. A local Muslim cleric talked about Mukhtar and Mai's incident in a mosque which led to Pakistani media highlighting Mukhtar and Mai's story and therefore resulting in a police case. The Chief of Justice took notice and all four men were arrested, only to be released soon after. The rapists did not remain imprisoned because they belonged to a superior tribal clan, whereas the victim was considered a low caste family woman. Mukhtar and Mai was harassed to give statements favoring the local police and the so-called honorable personalities of the village. International media shed light on Mukhtar and Mai's plight. In particular, Mr. Nicholas Kristof, the internationally renowned columnist for the New York Times. Mr. Kristof's articles about Mai played a pivotal role in bringing crimes committed against her to the world's attention. The Asian American Network Against Abuse of Human Rights, which is a U.S.-based organization, collaborated with the International Women's Health Coalition that promote and protect the rights of girls and women worldwide and invited Mukhtar and Mai to the United States. On January 18th, the president of the International Women's Health Coalition, Adrian Germain, welcomed Mukhtar and Mai to their office in New York. So I'm, my, my task this afternoon is just to say how privileged we are and honored to have Mukhtar with us. On January 19th, Anna volunteer Bazaruhi organized a breakfast for Mukhtar and Mai in Queens, New York.
Glamour Magazine Editor-in-Chief Cynthia Lieb invited Mukhtar and Mai to their office in New York on January 19th. Mukhtar and Mai was introduced to the entire Glamour Magazine team and staff. Mukhtar and Mai also presented Cynthia with a gift from her home village in Pakistan. She was also presented with the Nasdaq Closing Bell Crystal. Mukhtar and Mai signed her name in Urdu, her native language, for all of Times Square to see. This was extremely significant for Mukhtar and Mai because she has only recently learned how to write her name as she is in the third grade in her own school in her village in Pakistan. On the eve of January 19th, the International Women's Health Coalition held its fifth annual gala in New York City. Mukhtar and Mai was honored at the gala and had an opportunity to meet with Mr. and Mrs. Kofi Annan, as well as the host of the evening, actress and activist Glenn Close. On January 22nd, Mukhtar and Mai was invited to the Meadows School in Las Vegas. an event organized by Anna volunteer Zara Buttar. Mukhtar Mai was presented with a proclamation by Congresswoman Shelley Berkeley's office. On January 23rd, the Community College of Southern Nevada gave Mukhtar Mai a check for $1,000 for her schools and crisis center in Pakistan. The mayor of Las Vegas Oscar Goodman, welcome Mukhtar and Mai on January 23rd. Today, uh, which is January 23rd of 2006, Mukhtar Mai Day in the city of Las Vegas, and we ask all of our citizens to acknowledge you for your courageous efforts to promote women's rights. And that is for you. And then uh, the gift that is, the gift that is most special for me is the key to the city. We've given this key to the city to actors and actresses and athletes and politicians and uh, people who visit us that are of great importance. I can't think of anybody more deserving of the key to the city of Las Vegas, which is giving a little piece of our heart of the way we feel about you from our city. So when you look at it, you know that the people of Las Vegas respect you, admire you, and are proud to have you within our midst. On the 22nd of April, Vital Voices welcomed Mukhtar and Mai to Washington, D.C. to attend an event on the 27th, where she was the guest of honor. Mukhtar and Bibi of Pakistan is a profile in courage and determination on behalf of social justice.